So, hello fellow Earthlings. This is Earthling 645546372. All of those pairs of numbers add up to 10. Anyway, um, and I wanted to talk about the David Letterman, Lindsay Lohan interview, as well as some of these documentaries that we have. Um, I think there's one about Paris Hilton that's coming up. There is Framing Britney, I have yet to see. wanted to talk about that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, as usual, I am Earthling, yada, yada, yada. I am a computer programmer of sorts. I have a couple degrees. I am a ex-army reservist. I have traveled a bit, and that's it for me. So, the David Letterman and Lindsay Lohan interview is obviously, I don't actually, haven't seen it, I've kind of like heard it. I've kind of, I think I was, um, I would have put on a YouTube video about it and listened to what happened, which is that um, in light of the framing Britney um, documentary. I think people have gone back and looked at some of these past interviews that celebrities have had where they have been handled, they've been treated perhaps unfairly, especially in light of Framing Britney, which again, I have not seen. But there's the idea that Britney is this cash cow for all these people around her who are supposed to be taking care of her. I don't think I heard anything out of it that she was not being taken care of properly, but I guess there's the idea that they're taking advantage of her and she should have more control over her life. And, um, you know, again, maybe I need to see the documentary, but one of the things is that clearly at some point, Brittany would have seemed a little bit out of control, which is the reason why she would have entered that conservative ship with her father or whoever it was at the time, and now it's her father, in charge of her finances and so on. Um, but, yeah, I'm sure that there are some other compelling reasons out there as to why maybe things shouldn't be the way that they are. Anyway, um, so in light of that, and in the same vein as framing Britney, um, people would have gone in the past and seen this interview with David Letterman and uh, Lindsay Lohan, where I guess he goes against what they discussed that they the interview was going to be about on his show and proceeds to... Uh, it's lambaste, the right word, where you basically uh, keep asking Brittany, I mean, uh, Lindsay Lohan, hey, you know, really, what's what's this um, rehab about? How many rehabs is it going to take for you to be better? And Lindsay Lohan seems like she is not doing too well, um, I guess, during the break, she comes back and she says, well, these are the things that we were going to discuss. You know, I don't know why we're talking about this. This is not what we had initially planned to discuss. And I'm not going to tell you that it was nice what um, David Letterman did. It probably was not at all pleasant. Um, should there be repercussions? Should he be fired? I don't know. I don't think that he should be. Maybe it, it should be more akin to what happened with respect to um, Bill Maher, Bill Maher, when he said the N-word in an interview. It was supposed to be a joke. It was not meant... It, it was even directed at himself. He's like, you know, I'm a house N-word, meaning, hey, I, I'm not the kind of person who's supposed to be out in the field doing hard work. It was a joke. But still... I mean, even in jokes, it's not a good look for you to do that. 
and yeah, even in the in quest for jokes, the way that David Letterman probably uh, dug into Lindsay Lohan was not pleasant at all, and you know, maybe you should have something to pay for that. On the flip side, though, I would want to point out that maybe many of us have forgotten how Lindsay Lohan ended up in this situation where she was the butt of all of these people's jokes. One of the very first instances that I would have heard of Lindsay Lohan's behavior is, I think it was after um, she had done this movie with Herbie, you know, this um, VW Beetle that comes to life, it's magical or whatever. And I think that movie was a hit. And um, soon after that, you know, she had done Mean Girls and however much, and everybody expected that she was going to be this shining star, this fantastic actress who was going to have this long career, you know, a la, a la Angela, Angelina Jolie, a la whoever else, because that's what she had done. Then... For whatever reason, I guess, as a result of drugs and alcohol, at least to me, there was this one incident where she really leaned into her celebrity and had some argument where she was taking advantage of this guy um, and screaming out to him, do you know who I am? You could get in so much trouble if I could make your life miserable, da 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 Now... Clearly, that was not a good look for her either. And clearly, there were repercussions of that and other behavior that she exhibited on movie sets, etc. going forward. As a matter of fact, I think Lindsay Lohan got opportunity after opportunity after opportunity where everybody was thinking, hey, I guess now she's, she went to rehab this time. Now things are going to be better. And there were a number of movies that she was supposed to be in. And eventually, as time passed, I guess people see, saw that she was not getting better. And they were less likely to risk having her in their movies and this dragged on and on it was a little bit in the same vein as what's happening with Serena Williams right now um, with respect to finally breaking uh, winning um, another championship and being the GOAT where people have just kind of given up at this point or if you think for a minute, um, I think this guy's name is Andrew Weiner. Um, so remember when he exposed himself um, on the internet to somebody, and you're like, "Oh my God, that's so horrible!" And then he did it again, and you're like, "Wow, okay, this guy is crazy." And then he did it again, and his wife, who would have taken him back, is like, "I look like such a fool for trusting this guy again." Or David Spade. When some of these, not Kevin Spacey, sorry, for when some of these accusations came out against him, the first one you're like, well, maybe it's not that bad, you know? And then another one comes out, and another one, and another one, and after a while, you're just like, you don't care anymore. Or Bill Cosby, as his accusers came out. The thing about it is that we have a recording of... David Letterman's interview with Lindsay Lohan. We have that. We can go back and look at that easily. We have that. What we don't have is how we felt collectively hearing about every incident, compounded incident, that Lindsay Lohan was involved in time after time after time after time. So we don't have we've lost how we actually felt about Lindsay Lohan 
at the time when that was recorded, but we still have the recording. Or to look at it another way, you know, when you look back in the past and you think to yourself that you should have done this instead of doing that, maybe you should have kissed this guy or you should have kissed this girl or you should have told this person how you felt. Um, yeah, we regret these things. When, what we don't have is we don't have exactly how we felt and how much experience we had at that point in our heads. We don't realize that that was the best that we could have done at that specific time without having a previous moment to regret. The times in the present and the future when we are going to do better, it's because we have moments in the past that we regret. There's no way that those moments could have been any different because we're doing the best that we can based on the experiences that we have. So the thing about it is that at the time when Lindsay Lohan was going through what she was going through, much of it was in many ways deserved, meaning if you act out and you act in a drunken manner that is unbecoming of you, that's what people are eventually going to give you back. It's like, we thought you were cute in that movie where you were playing twins. We thought you were beautiful. We thought you were so funny and you stood up for yourself in Mean Girls. We thought that these were you. And then we realized, no, that's not you. Those are characters. And you're really somebody who has a drinking problem, a drug problem, whatever. And you're not the person that we thought that we liked and respected and all this other stuff. And you can't create a movie anymore because people have been giving you passes. Okay, 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 okay. And then they stop giving you passes. And beyond that, now that they're on your case because you have not been pulling your weight, you have not been living up to your responsibilities. So now when David Letterman has you on his show and you've been given 20 different opportunities to make good and you didn't, we are not that sympathetic to you because we've gone through it before. You know, this is like the boy who cried wolf however many times and we are not really that sympathetic to you anymore. And it's easy, it's really easy to forget the situation where David Letterman was. It's easy to forget the situation where any of us would have been having seen all of these different stories coming out about Lindsay Lohan that none of us were really expecting that her life was going to go on. Now, is it a good thing that David Letterman did that? Is it a good thing that she disrespected many people and ended up in that situation? No, it isn't. It is not a good thing. Neither of those things are good things. David Letterman um, did not, he broke the trust of an interviewer and an interviewee. And now we, you know, without remembering that we were also like kind of fed up of Lindsay as well, we can look back and say, hey, David, you know, she was going through a time. You probably shouldn't have done that. But we can also look at Lindsay and say, Lindsay, I, I know you were probably going through a time, but, you know, you shouldn't have done all those things that you did. And I know that you're doing them because of your past. And you know what? Well, David Letterman is doing what he did because of your pa his past, you know? 
if you take for example somebody like um not well jimmy jimmy the late night talk no show talk show host from is it the tonight show i don't know is jimmy kimmel and is it the other jimmy that other jimmy would never never ever have done that to you um like he says he just wants everybody to like him and that's how he is because of his past and that's how david letterman is because of his past but let's not forget that lindsay lohan disappointed a lot of people and she treated a lot of people poorly because she was she was doing pretty well for herself and you know like mel gibson and like a lot of other people she crashed and burned and yeah maybe to an extent she deserved some of the treatment that she was getting i wasn't really going to go in this particular angle with this conversation but yeah here we are and it's the end anyway that's it for me feel free to like dislike comment subscribe share any of those things that you would want someone to do for something that you put out on youtube have a good one peace